Hello, my sweet forevers. How are you? How's your day? How are you feeling? So, remember on one of my previous podcasts, I mentioned the book 30 Days to Reduce Depression, which was recommended by one of my forevers um, shout out to The Other Way uh, who recommended this book by Harper Daniels um, so I was looking through it and it was interesting to see like a daily it's like a a daily exercise regimen right and towards like the midsection of the book there's there's uh it's like a journal basically it's for instance page 39 it's it says notes for day one right and then in all parentheses it says use this page to write down thoughts, reminders, ideas, prayers, mantras, revelations, lessons, modifications to the exercise or experiences. If you'd like to share something, please post using 30 days. Um, hashtag actually, hashtag 30 days now or use the exercises unique hashtag. I love that. It's very, uh, interactive right it's it's, um it allows you to navigate and share your journey um as a community but also um celebrating that individuality Uh, and then that sequence continues um through each day all the way to Page thirty, so it's basically like a month's supply of journal pages, and then towards the end on page ninety-nine, it says, "To be mindful is to experience life in the present moment. It's the only moment we have." You know, little quotations like that are just. Like, it's the only moment we have. It just makes me think. Well, is it, is it the only moment we have? I, that's, I guess it's an arguable statement because, you know, the first thing that one can just, you know how we usually how I usually discuss the uh, the human mind and just the human experience as being cumulative. So while um, we can say it's the only moment we have, um, yes, but it's also very sequential, if that makes sense, and it's um it's just all very interesting we can just discuss this forever and that's that's what i love about the these discussions um and then it says don't forget to leave an online review yeah i'm actually going to um, use the hashtag and just support that community because we are most certainly part of it and how exciting to to extend our support to um, this book and author as well all right so let's read um have any of you uh, read this book or similar similar books please let me know 
in the comments section. Also, if you have any book recommendations, I I very much look forward to them and, and purchasing or borrowing them from the local library. Okay. Yes, I... Um, I'll go ahead and read the preface. It's from page four to six. And it starts, From the outset, please understand that this mindfulness program, program does not intend to be a cure for major depressive disorder. If you are struggling with severe depression, it's advised that you consult a licensed medical professional to determine proper treatment. Mindfulness is an incredibly powerful practice and has worked wonders for many people. However, everyone is unique physiologically and psychologically. So oftentimes, mindfulness is just one piece of a treatment, treatment plan. And I love that statement because it resonates with um, what I have emphasized and discussed before with you is that um, and it's all, these are all like little puzzle pieces in, in the, the journey of life, right? And it's just something we have to navigate to the best of our ability, however we can, and, and with what we have with, within our capacity and, and capability. Um, and that's not, and that, that may look very different, you know, contingent on person and scenario. Um, that's why it's so, uh, essential to, um, concoct a plan or a, 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 a multi-directional, multi-step um, process to navigate our own unique journeys, right? Okay. And um, I love how the book also emphasizes how important it is to uh, seek medical treatment. Um which was fundamental in uh, mental health treatment and, and mental health uh, in, in anyone's mental health journey, especially if it be, if it's if it if it's interfering with with our activities of daily living or just more on the pathological spectrum as opposed to um, just just applying it to a sense of normalcy um normalcy is not quote-unquote normalcy whatever that may look like um to different individuals i guess one can define normalcy as being able to um implement and and just live out our activities of daily living to the maximum of our ability, like to, to the best of our, um, ability, right? Yes. I, um, pardon me if I sound a little bit nasal. I'm a little under the weather. Um, and so let's get, let's continue mindfulness is an incredibly powerful practice and okay if you regularly if you regularly experience a low to moderate level of depression the exercises and the lessons in this mindfulness program may help you to reduce the depressive episodes in your life so that you can live your best life possible in the present moment And on to the second paragraph, it says, For the purpose of this book, 
let's define depression as a deep and sensitive state of rest, which is often accompanied by anxiety, guilt, shame, or paralysis. If this definition appears too complex, feel free to define depression any way you wish, as long as you recognize depression as an attachment to an emotional state of rest that utilizes adverse thoughts and feelings for repose. How would you, how would you describe depression? Like, like from your own just observations or maybe personal experiences, how would you define a state or chronic or an extended episode of depression? Would you would you define it as a deep and sensitive state of rest? You know, when when I read that I'm thinking is is it rest? It is is it really rest? Because when we rest we we feel better right so again these are just this is just open to interpretation and adaptation you know contingent on perspective and just individuals i would define rest as something that we replenish ourselves from so maybe instead of rest i would say more a state of um maybe numbness maybe um, a state of numbness and resignation um detachment accompanied by isolation which can go hand in hand with self-neglect or just overall neglect um so so i guess i i wouldn't really i wouldn't really apl- apply the word rest to 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 um the state of depression if that makes sense but again um tell me what your thoughts are on this topic <laughs> okay um where was I reading? Yes, yeah, so when it says a state of rest that utilizes adverse thoughts and feelings for repose. Hmm. And then it continues on. In other words, depression is not laziness, carelessness, or apathy. Instead, depression is a conditioned egocentric response to inner or outer struggle though depression is a logical and valid response to struggle and pain this mindfulness program will help you to see that depression does not define or control you okay <clears throat> so see this is where This is where, okay, that that last statement help you see that depression does not define or control you. Unfortunately, and the, again, these are my thoughts. Unfortunately, there are certain there. Well, there may be certain uh, levels of depression, right? Where the depression may define and control the person uh, completely unfortunately and this is why um i believe intervention is absolutely fundamental um, especially when an individual is at the severity level of the more severe level of um on the depression spectrum right um um, and this is where I like to emphasize that maintenance and just implementation of pl- 
plans or regimens or whether it's exercise or meditation or um, like what we're doing, reading, just enlightening ourselves with literature um, so that we stay, so that we stay um, aware, uh, mindful of this present moment and not, not just now of what what can be, what will be, or what was, and just um, just encompassing and welcoming reflection um, in all aspects of our lives without letting go of our perception for this present moment. Um, yeah. Okay, on to the next paragraph. <clears throat> The following pages involve a 30-day mindfulness program made up of lessons and exercises to help you overcome patterns of thinking, feelings, and attachments that have kept you stuck in a depressive state of being. And this is wonderful. I This is wonderful. It's very encouraging and allows you to communicate your thoughts and feelings, not just reflectively in, in the book and in the journal, but um, within the community, right? It's just where all our voices are equal, where all our voices um, can be heard, will be heard will help somebody, can help somebody, right, um, it's just very beautiful, where it's like, def depression can be perceived as this well that, like a, like a beautiful feather, and, and again, these are my thoughts, um, like a be beautiful feather, just, that is floating down into a well, right? It's just kind of slowly but surely going down. But I remember the feather is also symbolic of flight, right? Of of just and and it and when it's going down slowly, there is time for interception there is time to catch that feather and turn it into art just or just save it from cons from that continuous but sure slow fall if that makes sense um okay again those are my thoughts um okay Though these lessons and exercises can be applied to any unhealthy reliance, this program will focus specifically on the experience of depression. For some read and on to page five, oh, first paragraph. For some readers, they'll overcome the old reliance quickly and will drop the pernicious thoughts and dependency in no time. And for others, they'll overcome depression slowly and gradually. In either case, if you stick with the program, you'll start to witness the effects of depression awaken. Mm -hmm. See, just, just how depression is slow but sure. Healing, counteracting depression with slow but sure healing is just as effective. If, and again, this is just... This is just a piece of the puzzle, puzzle right? It's, um, um, this is part of a treatment plan, a collective treatment plan. Um, okay, they'll so overcome depression slowly and gradually. In either case, if you stick with the program, you'll start to witness the effects of depression weaken. 
Please don't judge your progress in the program as this isn't a competition and there isn't a goal you must attain, right? Right, it's, it's not a competition. It's not something you have to do to be happy forever. No, it's a consistent... Uh, a consistent interactive plan it's it, again it's maintenance right everything needs maintenance and so do our minds um anything everything in life needs continuous um refacing or replenishing or you know again maintenance but um, without in without extreme expectations it's just an expectation a healthy standard level of expectation where um where you're doing what works for you what what's helping you be your best you or at least able to cope with your activities of do with you know with our activities of daily living um and being present for those for those that need us, who need us, or those who um, love us, right? Are we going to be there all the time, every day, every moment they need us? Um, no, no, and that's okay because we need to, we need time to heal and recharge to be there for those we love and those who need us and and um the only way we can be our best for them is if we take the time to heal and to recharge ourselves right um yes okay um where were we Let the adversely debilitating thoughts, feelings, habits, and attachments simply drop as you work through the exercises and lessons. It's not, and this is the second paragraph, it's not necessary to complete the program's days in order, nor should you be religious about completing them successfully. And when I see the word success, that's again that the word success may look different for different people. Uh, there is different perspectives, perceptions, and vis- visualizations of what success embodies, right? Um, and again, this is. Um, it's mental health is a not a one size fits all. Okay. There is no such thing as a successful completion of this program. The bottom line is to observe and awaken, and that cannot be obtained through success, force, pressure, struggle, or competition. Simply relax, follow the programs, and the depression will reduce. On to the last paragraph. You'll also notice that mindfulness, silence, and stillness are a regular discipline for each day in the program. Because there's, and this is something, you know what, I'm going to create another journal sheet for for um, self-reflection or just f- for us being able to catch ourselves so to speak like that like that drifting beautiful feather that's that's maybe drifting down but is in the need of intervention and to take flight again right so i'm thinking of creating a journal sheet that's gonna help us determine when when 
when is it time to kind of take a step back? When do we feel, okay, I'm not feeling my best. I'm heading in the wrong direction. Like, I need redirection right now because I'm not feeling my best me. I'm not performing as my best self. So what are my symptoms, right? And, and when I say my, I'm saying generally speaking, and, and this I'll put into the journal sheet. What are my symptoms to that kind of like an alarm clock, like a biological alarm clock that'll tell me, and again, these are my thoughts, my personal thoughts and ideas. And that just a personal snooze or alarm clock that will tell me, hey, it's time to take a step back for some healing or it's time to reduce reduce my workload a little, reduce my um, interactivity a little or et cetera, whatever may be happening in your day, in your life. Um, whether that's being the matriarch of the family or you know, having a heavy workload or a heavy patient load in the workforce or or when having to, you know, perform optimally for all your students or whatever your situation, your unique, wonderful situation may be. Um, kind of like, like the word that we read in one of my previous podcasts, almost like a situational marker, not a bio, mar- I guess maybe a biomarker, but like a situational marker or a psychological m- marker that will tell us, uh-oh, you know, yield or stop sign, slow down. Um, it, it's interesting to condition, to condition ourselves, um, that way um yes okay uh where were we okay on the last paragraph page five because you've been influenced by a dependency based society that demands instant gratification silence and stillness may seem nearly impossible for you to practice um that actually living living in New York City and having some peace and quiet or just that is a bit of a luxury so I treasure when I have peace and quiet or just moments of reflection and just um, replenishment to, to me and I'm sure fellow New Yorkers or city people can um, maybe agree or relate. It's just leisure is a luxury, right? Um, okay. That demands instant gratification, silence, and stillness may seem nearly impossible for you to practice. For this reason, we'll incorporate this discipline from the outset. A quiet and still mind is an incredibly powerful resource, but one that requires daily maintenance. Correct. And that's, that's what I emphasize, is maintenance. It's um, being prophylactic, being taking preventative measures is so much more um, tangible, so much more achievable than, you know, waiting for there to be a, a complete collapse of, of, you know, our life factors to then say, oh, it's time to make a change because we don't want to wait till it's too late, right? We want to um, try and be as preventative as possible and just maintain um, the concept of life at the forefront and what the concept and um, embodiment of life entails 
what the representation of life is and how certain circumstances are not conducive to life, right? There's certain circumstances that are very conducive to light, to life, others not so much, and that's when um, depression and other, um, you know, pathological um, states can ensue. Okay. Daily maintenance. Okay. It should also be noted that you're not required to fight the feelings of depression during the program. However, if you've already dropped the attachment, then do not pick it up again. The points be right, right. It's um we have to accept our thoughts, right? We can't have a fight with ourselves that's counterproductive we have to accept reflect and redirect right and again these are my thoughts that's that's my perception of um of just celebrating and understanding all the life processes we endure and just and just have to manage right the points being by practicing the following exercises and lessons in the days to come you won't even need willpower to move on from depression it'll just happen right and that's basically behavioral conditioning um and just uh, redirecting re redirecting our our internal navigational system or our biological map right it's, it's all very interesting to um to to just um speculate and discuss okay on page now on to the last page of the preface which is page six you'll need about 15 to 30 minutes per day for the program but feel free to spend more time if needed the amount of time doesn't matter as long as you're in an environment that allows you to concentrate without distraction and some all these all these little different um segments of reflection and meditation etc they all they're all conducive to neuroplasticity and you'd be surprised how many um mental health conditions disorders etc can be warded off or even delayed um from taking over um taking over us and of course that accompanied with a, a balanced um regimen of healthy meals um healthy breathing healthy activities outside of our homes and as well as inside our homes etc um okay the um, also to be mentioned the last portion of this book includes note pages that you can use with the exercises it's yes, and that's actually the journal pages I was mentioning earlier. It's like a whole month supply, which I love. And please don't forget my sweet forevers. Um, I add the links in my description and also enjoy my community posts, which are very conducive to um, mental health and maintenance. And please download the worksheets, the journal sheets that I create for you. Share them with. Um, maybe family family members, friends, or your social medias as well to help um, continue disseminating mental health awareness and mental health in its entirety. Okay. Um, right. Also to be mentioned, the last portion of this book includes note pages that you can use with exercises 
It's encouraged that you write down any thoughts, insights, adaptations, lessons, mantras, etc. on those blank pages. Um, which, which I'm a very big fan of journaling because when you journal, you allow, it's, it's kind of like, you're allow once you tr transfer your thoughts onto a page, right, you know your thoughts are not lost, so it just kind of allows your mind to rest from those thoughts because they've been, you've pretty much manifested them onto something tangible, right, which is your journal sheet, your piece of paper. So it just made, I guess it just at some level allows your mind to rest, right? And not just rest, but when you, when you go back on another day and, sort of, and reflect on that, you know, space and time in your mind and in your life, you're thinking, you may think, oh, wow, I remember having those thoughts, you know, and and maybe you st you still have t thoughts like that from time to time, or maybe um, maybe you don't have those kinds of thoughts so much anymore. Maybe you're in a different state of mind, in a different network uh, in your mind. Um, maybe more in a healing state of mind, or in another another progressive, a more perceptive state of whatever state of mind it may be, it's just very interesting to go back into your journal and remember, oh, when I wrote this down, I remember this was happening in my life, or I remember I was feeling this way, etc. And, and what may have induced those types of thoughts and that type of mindset, right? It's just all very interesting to speculate. Um, and it just allows you to celebrate your journey and that that includes the positives and the negatives right we uh, you know life is not perfect for anybody you know it's it's just it's just life and that's why we need each other and that's okay okay so Oh, continue reading. It's encouraged that you write down any thoughts, insights, adaptations. Okay, okay, read this already. The note pages can also be used to rip out and take with you. Feel free to use them as you wish. Or not even rip out. You can just take the book with you wherever you go. Allow these books to keep you company. Um, you know, I, I love sharing these experiences with you my beautiful angels because i enjoy being your hashtag knowledge companion right i, I want you to feel understood embraced welcomed just you know however you want to decipher that stage in your life it's um it just again re-emphasizing that we are not alone in our journeys and it's just a beautiful thing to know and to remember okay on to the next paragraph and the last one one last thing if you are like most people you might be dependent on caffeine alcohol or sugar to some extent Well, I mean, sugar is an essential component in our biological homeostasis, so um, that's, we're all dependent on sugar because life depends on it um, to a certain extent. And so, um, okay, if you are, do your best to lessen the consumption of these substances over the next 30 days. Alcohol is a depressant and ca caffeine spikes anxiety, which often accompanies depression. So, it's essential that these two substances are removed from your diet. 
if at all possible. It's important that your mind is sober and your body relaxed to make the most of these exercises and lessons. Um, it's, it's interesting I to, um, to see the author's um, thought, thoughts and and so uh, ideas and then it says let's get started and then on the bottom is like in bold print it's it says in bold, bold and small print it says let others know you're practicing my mi mindfulness post a picture of the cover and include hashtag 30 days now which i'm gonna do um on this video as well as on my community posts also don't forget that each exercise has a unique hashtag for online sharing share your journey and discover other people practicing mindfulness yes my beautiful sparkles it is being practiced so vastly now and and and, and i'm sure it always has been but it's just i love how it's um it's just seeping into you know all cultures and all walks of life and because as i've mentioned before mental health is a common ground we all stand on and it's just it's beautiful that we continue to celebrate life and all that it entails the good and the bad and, and to know that we're here to help each other and to catch each other if we fall okay um let's see how many minutes Oh my goodness, 42 minutes. Yes, I, it's, uh, you know, when I'm reading and to you and discussing these things with you, it's just, there's like, I don't really feel the sense of time. It's more like, I actually feel like I'm practicing being in the present moment with you. And it's, I am just very thankful for being in a space and time where I can practice this interactively um, with you and for those who may enjoy it and and who those who may um, welcome it in their life and and feel inspired by it and and uh, and some of you have and I am so thankful for you being here my sweet forevers um, you know, I read your comments, I get your messages. Um, it's an honor to be in this journey with you and to inspire you however I can in any way that I can and just as as we celebrate this journey of life together. Okay, I love you. Never forget that. Um, so next I'm thinking, should we should we work on these exercises together because you know it's there each page is titled day one day two day three etc um, so i may upload this video on my new channel or maybe here i'm kind of still figuring that out it's, it's very hard to juggle everything in my in my real life um you know home work school it's it's you know it's it's a lot um but we'll navigate this together my angels you know we always do and and that's okay we'll, we'll figure things out okay i love you i'll talk to you soon mm.